I've opened a sheet in Excel. I've typed these words, purchase price of home, amount of down payment, amount to be financed, monthly interest rate, term, monthly payment, and we have a payment schedule here, which I'll explain in a second. I want these things to be right justified. I grab them and I go up here, move them over. These, the 300,000 is the amount of the loan, um, 30,000 down. I want those to be currency. Note that this is a formula. It's the purchase price of the house minus the down payment. 300 minus 30 is 270. Monthly interest rate is three and a half. I want that to be formatted as a percentage with one decimal spot. So three and a half and term is 30. Then we got to get the payment. This is the equals PMT function. We could use the function wizard or I just type equals PMT rate. It bold faces what you need next. You need the rate three and a half. That's an annual rate. So we divide by 12, put a comma, then it goes to N per, which is the number of periods. That's that, but that's an annual rate. That's 30 years. So we have to do that times 12. We want a monthly payment. Then we put a comma. PV is geek speak for the amount of the loan it stands for present value but it means the amount of the loan we're paying back two hundred and seventy thousand dollars so our payment is negative that and if we want it to be a positive number we put a little negative there it's negative because it's depleting the loan to make it what our monthly payment will be we put a negative sign in there and our monthly payment is one thousand two hundred twelve dollars and forty two cents so here's our payment schedule we're gonna go month one two all the way to three sixty buying a house is a serious purchase three hundred and sixty months so we take it all the way down, all the way down to 360, and down below that I'm going to say final balance, because after I after I've done my 360 months, that should be zero. Then I need to do these things. What's my balance to start? My balance to start is whatever I'm financing. So it's $270,000. What's my payment? My payment I put an equal sign and I just click with my mouse on that. It's it's always going to be 1212 unless I refinance later. So I'm going to grab that and hit the F4 key to put the $2 signs, make that an absolute reference, and freeze it. So as I copy down, my payment will always be that. If I didn't freeze that, the B6 would turn into B7, et cetera. The total paid is going to be, this is a neat little feature, you say equals the sum of this, and then colon and do itself. And you say, well, why would I sum C10 and C10? Well, the reason is I'm going to freeze the first C10, make it an absolute reference with the F4 key. And when I do that, as I go down, it's doing a running total. Now it's C10 to C11. Now it's C10 to C12. That's the total amount I've paid, not just of the balance. The interest paid for any month is equal to the annual rate divided by 12, so the monthly interest rate multiplied by whatever the balance was. Now, in that, I'm going to screw that up if I don't freeze that B4. That's my, my interest rate, unless I refinance, is always going to be 3.5, so I F4 that. And then again, the total is going to be this little sum function. I'm going to sum itself, this colon that, close the paren, freeze the first E10 with an F4. So as I copy down, that'll work. What's the principal paid? The principal is whatever your payment is minus how much interest you paid for that month. So early on in a payment like this, you're paying more interest than principal. And the total principal paid is going to be sum of this and itself again running downward. So I freeze the G10 with an F4, and that makes it move down. Now this should work. Uh, let's see, the, new, the, the balance is not going to stay B3. So the new balance is going to be, this is going to be the old balance minus whatever principal we paid. Your loan is only reduced by the principal. The interest is just money down the hole. <laughs> kind of. you, you're paying to some loan company. Uh, okay, so that, something looks wrong there. That total interest paid, no, no, that's right. Principal, interest, okay, so it looks like I can copy this row all the way down. So I copy it down, and again, I do my common sense thing always. If I copy it down, I get down to there, and I copy this final cell down one more. My final balance is zero, baby. That's nice. And you look at this, you look at your loan, and you see your balance depleting by the principal. You see the interest paid. This is the running total of the interest paid, the running total of the principal paid. By the way, the running total of the principal paid down here better be 270000 It is. Look at how much.